Hey everyone, Arnel C coming at you with another tutorial video on using Clef two-factor authentication plugin for WordPress. Today we will be discussing the different configuration options that you can use with Clef. The configuration options within Clef allow you to set it up for a number of things, but its main purpose is to configure how you can log into WordPress using Clef. Clef recommends configurations of the plugin based on four levels. Highest security, which disables the passwords for all users, higher security, which disables the passwords for select WordPress roles, high security, which disables passwords specifically for Clef users, and low security, which allows passwords for all users. Low security also allows you to choose to use Clef or to not use Clef. In order to configure Clef, you need to first log in to your WordPress administrator, and then you will need to look on your left-hand side at the menu and click on Clef. The highest secure configuration of Clef disables the passwords for everyone. It does not use the WordPress login and it forces everyone to use the two-factor authentication that is used with the Clef app on the smartphone. This forces the two-factor authentication that works through the cell phone and allows the application to prevent attacks on WordPress security due to brute force or botnet attacks, weak passwords, logging in through insecure connections, password phishing or malware attacks, account takeovers via email account breaches or password resets. When you use this option, the makers of Clef highly recommend that you create a secret override URL in case there's a specific instance where you need to log in immediately without using Clef. The second level of configuration that you can use with Clef is called the higher security options. Here you can specify a certain WordPress role to use Clef to log in. This will allow you to set aside a user group like editors or administrators and force them to use the Clef app to log in. This option can also be used with allow passwords for API, which is necessary for things like the WordPress mobile app. If you have users using the WordPress mobile app on something like an iPad or any tablet or your phone, then you want to have this option checked off. The high security option, which is the third configuration type, allows you to set the application to disable the passwords only for Clef users. This option is also good when you need to allow users to use the WordPress mobile app. You can again choose to select the, to allow API to use the passwords. This option should be used when you have a high number of low-level users who don't have access to a smartphone. The fourth option, which is called Low Security by Clef, is only recommended by them for testing and training. Using this option basically allows any user to use Clef or log in with the normal WordPress login. This means that there are no advantages for using Clef two-factor authentication. Thanks for watching this tutorial on the configuration of Clef. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. Also, please leave a comment so that we would know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.